We're going to build in threes. Everything we do is in threes. We also know that we're going to live by an 80-20 rule. 80% of the people that you contact ain't going to get in. 20% of them are. So if that's the case, you're going to need to contact, touch 60 people to get 12 to 15 folks. You're going to need to sponsor 12 to 15 folks to get three people who are serious about building the business. People say, well, why is that? I don't know why it is. The weird people that spend time wondering why it is are broke. The ones that don't care why it is and just say that's the way it is, they're rich. Tell me y'all want to wonder why it is. Nobody raise your hand. Okay. You only need three people to go three-star ambassador. Now, is three-star ambassador going to pay you $20 million a year? No. But it'll get you a darn good start. Most people would be happy there. Right? Who's your three? Doc, you never can pick them, can you? Nobody can pick them. We don't know who our three's going to be. Everybody I thought, every time I've ever thought somebody was going to be a stud, they turned out to be a dud. And every time I think somebody's going to be a dud, they turn out to be a stud. How many of y'all are with me? And you can really tell because if they tell you they're a stud, I promise you they're a dud. You let them determine who they're going to be, man. You, you put them in there and let them, sort them, let them sort themselves out. Nick told me that early on, first, one of the first days me and Nick ever met. He says, Kyle, he says, man, just stack them in there. They'll figure out who the leaders are. Made sense. It worked. It absolutely worked. Start with the end in mind. You always want to build with a long-term mindset. One of the challenges people have is they begin building the business in this little mindset, not looking long-term. They're thinking about right now, today. They're trying to live from minute to minute. Man, think with a long-term mindset. Everybody in here is going to go ambassador that wants to. Everybody in here is going to go three-star ambassador that wants to. But you've got to be thinking that way. You've got to be building long-term. Sometimes you give up things that would give you a little more money right now so that you can build it correctly so down the road you can make a pile of money. What do I mean by that? Driving depth. Driving depth. If you put 12 people in your business personally to get three leaders, would that also work if you went 12 people deep? Everybody say yes. yes. So you go 12 wide to get three, go 12 deep and three legs, congratulations, you have a business that'll never leave you. That's called long-term capital gains. And the younger your team is, the longer term capital gains it is. I mean, you all understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Never stop sponsoring. A lot of times what happens is people, uh, they get into the leadership mode. They get into the, they're leading the troop mode and they quit sponsoring. You're either green and growing or you're ripe and rotten. Nobody wants to be rotten. So you got to continuously be doing the creative stuff, be doing the things that you're, teaching. How do you teach? By example, you're teaching your team to do. Does that make sense? Everybody say yes. Would a good Christmas present for y'all be going ambassador? How many of y'all like to go ambassador for Christmas? Let me share something with you. Whether you've been in this business for two years, three years, five years, or you're just getting started today, I don't care. If you'll go do what I tell you to do right now, if you'll take what I'm telling you right now and you go do it, you're going to succeed and you'll be an ambassador before Christmas. How many of y'all want to do it again? <laughs> this month, July, we're in the middle of July and everybody can do this. Leave here and go sponsor three, six, 12 people. You go sponsor what you've got to sponsor to get three people who want to do this for real. You go do what it takes. Leave here and go sponsor. And if you've been in the business and you got 20 distributors, congratulations. Go sponsor three, six, 12 people this month to find three that wants to do something special with their life. You take those three distributors and you make sure you make them solid directors before the end of July. You're going to go RD. In August, you break three regional directors. Do you think it's going to be easier to do it? Yes, it is because you've already found your three that wants to do something. But what are you also going to be doing? Still sponsoring. Still sponsoring. People say, I can't build depth and sponsor at the same time. Yes, you can. Man, you're over here doing a meeting in depth. You bring your new person over here where the fire is. 
You bring them to where you're working, where people are excited. September, you break three RDs, you're going PD. October, break six more RDs, you're going ambassador. Did I tell you he was going ambassador before Christmas? How about in October? I believe anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Do y'all believe what I believe? I figure somebody's going to screw it up, so if you screw it up, at least you have November and December to... Have y'all heard the rumor we're having another, we're having a national event in November? Have y'all heard this? Well, if we can get it done by October, how many of y'all want to cross stage at that event as an ambassador? I'm telling you, it's going to be big. There's some rules, though. You've got to be laser, laser focused, and you've got to teach your team between now and October, you, as a matter of fact, you need to do it all the time. Between now and October, you've got to be laser focused. You've got to teach your team to be laser focused on the people that you're running. Make sense? Say yes. It's your business until someone takes ownership. Taking ownership ain't somebody going, okay, I'm the owner of it now. Ownership means they're out doing three to five challenge parties a week. Ownership means they're calling you regularly. You're not having to chase them down. When you call into your team calls or you call into the vision calls, you hear them announcing themselves. They're plugged in. That's what ownership is. So don't give up your ownership until somebody takes it. Make sense? Lead people by their why. Find out why they want to do something. It's like if somebody wants to do something, it's, if, if somebody wants something bad enough, you can get them to do what it takes to get it. Make sense? Somebody said leadership was... Leadership was getting people to do or, or convincing people to do things they don't want to do to get the things that they want. That's what true leadership is. Work where the fire is, not where you want it to be. I love Uncle Bob as much as y'all love Uncle Bob. But Uncle Bob ain't doing nothing. And I don't care if you do a meeting at Uncle Bob's house every night. If he ain't inviting nobody, how many people you think you and Uncle Bob's going to sponsor standing there looking at each other? Go find somebody who's excited. Work where the fire is. Wherever the fire is, that's where you're spending your time. Build yourself away from the business by empower, empowering people and teaching duplication and leadership. This is important. If you don't do this, it's going to always be your business. The business is going to grow only as fast as you, one person, can cause it to grow. This is a hard concept for people to understand. You have to get away to allow people to take on the role of leadership. If you continuously hover over them, they're never going to be leaders. If you're at their house doing every single challenge party, they're never going to be leaders. You have to separate yourself and allow them to take on that role. If things don't work the way it needs to, then you can always slide back in and then slide back out. Does that make sense? Next, you got to take action. Some of y'all heard me say this. Last night, because you can have all the information you want, but if you don't take action, nothing's going to happen. You can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't make both you choose. Does that make sense? I'm running out of time, and I've got a couple more thoughts that hit me today. I'm going to run through these real quick. I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to move pretty fast. This is the toughest thing I ever have to do is try to think of what I'm going to train on and all that. Generally, about two hours before I go train, everything I need to talk about hits me. And it comes from talking to people throughout days. And this kind of came to me a few hours ago. If you want to build this business, first thing you're going to have to do is get excited. How many of y'all agree with me? You've got to be excited. People's going to follow excited people. Would y'all agree with me? There ain't nobody going to follow nobody who's negative, dull, disillusioned, a crybaby. Nobody's going to follow that. Are y'all with me? They're going to follow people who are excited, people who have passion, who have fire, enthusiastic, tough, and fun. How many of y'all know fun? People want to follow fun. You got to be a dreamer. If you're not dreaming, nobody wants to follow somebody that don't have any vision. You got to be a dreamer. We all forgot how to dream. When we were kids, we dreamed. Now we don't forgot how to dream. You got to learn how to dream again. We've got to dream. If you're a dreamer, people's going to follow you. A man or a woman without a dream is dead. We've got to have vision. We got to know what we want. 
If you're a dreamer, just a quick note, if you're a dreamer, you will be controversial. I'm just telling you, plan on it. But here's the truth, people's gonna talk about you. But guess what, they're talking about you when you ain't doing nothing, so you might as well do something so they got something to talk about. You gotta stand for something. People ain't gonna follow no fence sitting, somebody that don't even know what side of the fence they wanna be on. You gotta stand for something. You gotta take a stand. You can't be wishy-washy. You gotta stand for something. You gotta take a stand. Be decisive, unwavering, consistent. Make a total commitment. Make a total commitment to Vitalis. People's gonna follow someone who's absolutely, completely committed. Not somebody who's, well, we're going to try. We'll see how it works. How many of y'all know them fools? Get committed. Be committed. Treat people good. Man, people, people want to people hear that they're special. People want to hear you say good things to them. Just treat people good. That's important. People will follow you when you're treating them good. Have a heart of a champion. What's the heart of a champion? They just do it. Where's the ambassadors? All the ambassadors stand up. Y'all give them a hand. Thank y'all, ambassadors. Thank y'all. They just did it. They just did it. What did they did? What it took. How many of y'all are willing to do what it takes? The next question is, are you willing to do what it takes and then just a little bit more? Do you have the desire and the willingness to win and just a little bit more? Are you willing not to quit just a little bit more? Will you pay the price and just a little bit more? How many of you will pay the price and a little bit more? Work hard and a little bit more. Loyal to the team and a little bit more. Loyal to the company and a little bit more. Go the extra mile. Believe in the cause and a little bit more. And lastly, do what it takes to get the job done. Do what it takes to get the job done and a little bit more. How many of y'all are a little bit mores? No, how many of y'all are a little bit mores? Come on. We love y'all. God bless you.